Hey nail freaks. This vlog is really geared towards taking a look at things and dissecting them for your nail eyes. Figuring out how to use them as inspiration, how to break them down, and really go about deciding how they can be used for color, texture, and so on. And the focus for this one is going to be flowers because it is so gorgeous out and flowers definitely are the way to go right now. There are so many elements to a flower that we can actually break down. Taking a look at the texture of the petal for one. When we look at this, it has almost a velvety look. And since for the most part, we're not actually gonna walk up to other people and feel their nails, we wanna be able to interpret this texture visually. Here we have another style of petal and these have a more solid color, but where your color differentiations come in is actually going to be more how the light plays on the petals. So then it's not so much an ombre within the petal itself, it's within how the light lays on the petals. And then the texture and the variations of the center. Let's use our nail eyes and see what we can do with these different petals and textures. Oh, and what about veins? How are we going to create veins? A good striping brush is really going to be our friend when it comes to creating veins in those petals. Let's take a look at how we can use different mediums to create those flower textures. The first one I want to focus on is art paints. Play with different shapes of brushes to see the types of different textures you can get from different shapes of brushes. Look at striping brushes, look at detail brushes, look at triangle brushes, square brushes. Every different type is gonna give you a different texture. What we wanna look for here is working some of the paint into the brush. So don't come in and scoop up some paint like you would scoop up polish. Literally work the paint into the brush. Come over here and make sure it's worked in that you don't have a lot of excess paint. And then come over here and depending on the type of petal you're looking for, you will either press and pull and let go or You'll kind of press and curve around and then come over and press and curve around and come together towards the center. And each of those gives you a different type of texture, as you can see. And because these are art paints, we'll rinse these in water and clean the brush off to switch colors. So I'm drying that brush out. With the other color, you can either come in and add to that texture, or what you can do is with that slightly damp brush, come in and kind of brush that petal a little bit to create more texture in the petal with that slightly damp brush. You can also, how some petals are a little bit tattered on the end, you could also come in for this style of petal here and add that tattered look and visual texture to your petal with that slightly dampened brush. Make sure it's very, very slightly damp so that it has plenty of time to dry before you top coat. And then you would make the next petal and bring all of those together. So that gives you an idea of how to get that flower texture with that type of medium. One of my tricks for creating flowers is working on top of matte top coat. 
and there are all kinds of matte top coats out there one of my favorites is the matte top coat from Ugly Duckling. It just consistently goes on and has a really satiny finish. Let's do some flower texture with alcohol ink. It's really cool to do flowers with alcohol ink. The trick is learning how to control your ink. Clean your brush off pretty good and then just dab your brush a little bit and pull forward. You're going to end up with pretty round petals or leaves depending on what you're going for. So I've done that one as an example for a leaf. And I'm going to do two different examples of what you can do for flower petals. There's a little bit longer one. And then we'll do one that's a little bit rounder to show you a couple different types of texture that you can get using the alcohol inks. And we'll just quick screw these shut so that I don't have any ink mishaps because those are messy. With alcohol inks, depending on the manufacturer, you can either manipulate them with acetone or alcohol. It's gonna depend on what the brand recommends that you use. Using a detail brush or some small brush that you like to work with with your alcohol inks, we're going to manipulate the texture of them by playing with alcohol or acetone to get the shape that we want and to get that really thin translucent petal look that some flowers have. So let's play with the leaf first because that is going to be the lightest color. When you're working with more than one color, you want to play with your lightest color first because it's going to be picked up in the brush and you don't want those dark colors to bleed into your light colors once they're in your brush. I'm working with the Profiles Alcohol Inks and they recommend manipulating them with acetone. So I've dipped my brush in acetone. I'm wiping it off on the side so that I don't have too much. I'm going to manipulate my leaf so that it's a little more pointed on one end. And a little rounder here. So that I can give it some detail in the center with some gel polish and it has that really filmy translucent look that some flowers get where they almost have no color they're so sheer but the edges are really really vibrant I want it to be just a little more pointed so I'm just kind of coaxing it a little bit more There we go. Then to play with this longer petal, take just a little bit of acetone and dot it on there. And you wanna kinda stay back from the edges and kind of coax it from the center. See how that worked? And then this one, I want to be pretty round and tattered. So I'm gonna quick tatter this edge because I want it to be one of those cool tattered petals that's really translucent at the bottom, but really tattered and vibrant at the tip. So see how we have those two different styles of texture for those types of flowers using the same medium. Then for the leaf, I'm actually gonna come back in and add just a little more alcohol ink, wiping the brush off really, really well. So I'll show you. Clean that brush off really, really well and just barely put a tiny dot in the center so that you kind of have a little bit of a dot of color off to one side because usually those leaves have a little more color on one side or the other where the plant has kind of leaned towards the sun. And then we will grab 
a gel polish color that we're going to use to kind of outline and manipulate those outlines to really make that flower petal more vibrant or really jump out. And you could absolutely leave your watercolor inks alone if you want that texture as is. Or if you want them to pop a little bit more, you can add some abstract outlines with black or white depending on what your background. Using either a mini striper or a striping brush, whatever you're the most comfortable with doing, really small detailed lines. Grab your striping brush and work some black gel polish or black paint, whichever one you're the most comfortable working with. And if you would prefer, you can go ahead and seal that alcohol ink in with top coat so that if you mess up your outlines, you don't have to start over with the alcohol ink. You can just wipe it off and redo your outlines. Work it into your brush so you don't have a lot of excess hanging off your brush. That black is worked into your brush so that you can really get some nice thin lines. And then very, very softly so that the hairs of the brush don't bend. Just outline the area that you want kind of acknowledged. And you don't have to outline every single thing. Like I don't go in and put every single detail that there would be. I just go in and add the idea of details. So here, if this were the petal, I might even go out beyond the petal a little bit. Or maybe even come in and add some little details with the black. To create more personality to the petal. It's all what you envision for your flower for texture. This one, I love that jagged edge that those flowers have in person. So I really want to emphasize that. So I'm going to just very gently give the hint of an outline to the petal itself and come in and just kind of, hey, here's the idea of an outline to the inside. And here's an idea of the outline to the outside. But I'm not actually going to confine that petal to an outline. It's more drawing the eye to the petal so that you notice the visual texture that it already has. So there's how you can make some texture with alcohol inks. The final texture I want to show you is gel polish. And this is going to be more when you don't really have time to mess around and you just want to get some flowers on there. You're not as worried about visual texture. You're more worried about just getting the flower on the nail and being done with it. What you can do to create the illusion of visual texture without having to go through as much work is create the outline of the flower petals with one color. And don't worry about filling in the color really well. Kind of dig your brush in a little bit so that it leaves a little bit of the color open. And then come in with a second color before you cure that first color and 
fill that in so that they bleed together a little bit and encourage that marbling. So it has that little bit of bleed together. And just work your way around. Then let's say this black is green because I don't want to use up your time digging for the green gel polish. We would bring this down as a stem. And create the greenery that it needed. And work from there. And then if we needed some outlining, you would cure that and then come in with your gentle detailed outlining. But that gives you an idea of how to get that texture with gel polish without having to take as much time as you might take with some of the other mediums. The other mediums are more when you have the time to give the effort for the, the visual texture that the flowers really deserve to have that beautiful texture that we looked at when the flowers are growing outside and we really see them. The gel polish is more for when you want the idea of a flower and you want to have flowers on the nails, but you don't have a lot of time. The client doesn't want to pay for as much of a time slot or they decided they wanted nails today with design work and you didn't have it booked in but you've got a couple extra minutes so you can do a flower in a couple extra minutes using gel polish versus some of your other mediums and you can go in and do a little bit of work with some gel polish that just kind of makes it fun so i hope you enjoyed doing this with the flower textures, taking a look at them outside and then taking a look at textures. I know it's not your typical flower tutorial, it's actually delving into textures, but I hope it helped and you had a good time and I'll see you on the next vlog. Be sure to subscribe, think about joining and enjoy some extra content and perks and I'll see you next time.